I can't. I, hold on, I ain't really here, y'all. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing this morning? All right, y'all. This is this is creative mornings, y'all. Y'all like find a way to be creative right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I know y'all. You know y'all didn't just roll out of bed. Y'all got your mojo, your coffee. You know what I'm saying? Had a chance to mingle and things. So hope things is warmed up. Um, it's a very beautiful, very beautiful crowd in here today. Um, I personally have been to a few of these, and the first time I came, um, I wasn't really familiar with uh, with how this went. And a friend of mine had invited me, and I kind of just just went with it, just kind of went with the flow. And uh, different, at, you know, I got up just like how y'all did, talk about what y'all doing, you know. And I, I spoke about my new project that had just came out at the time. Then Steve, like afterwards, he thought it would be the great idea, you know, if I, you know, if I showed up and I did the, you know, I did the flow. And I said, man, that's great. I'm definitely thankful for that. Um, and um, I thank y'all for showing up today. So. I had a, a, an initial question when you uh, filled out your name tag, and I asked you, um, how do you connect your passion to the world? I just wanted you to think about that, because I know that a lot of times we, we want to make an impact, um, you know, but sometimes we're not sure how we want to do it or how to go about it, you know, and there's definitely a, a process, there's definitely a flow to it. Um, so I just want you to think about that, and after we get done, maybe you can think about some of the examples, and you could try to connect that and um, try to you know apply that to what you're doing and and, uh, and how you're doing. So I'll take a seat for a second. I'm gonna just drop a little bit of background music, just a little bit, because I like it makes me feel really good to do that. So I'm gonna just play a little bit. All right? Is that cool with y'all? Yeah. Just a little bit. It's just like a little jazzy joint, just a little bit. Yeah, you hear that? Okay, cool. So, like with me, like, whether I'm about to get ready to do some work, whether it's um, in the studio or some community work or a project, like, there's like a, there's like a set of things I like, like to do. Sometimes I like to set my mood, like just playing music, you know? Get up, walk around. Some of y'all like to drink coffee. Um, I have preferred lemonade today, because I don't drink coffee. So, there's no knock against coffee, though. My brother owns a coffee shop, so it's, I fully support it, you know, drink <laughs> whatever it is to get you going, like, get it going, you know what I mean? So, um, a little more to what Steve was saying, I am a recording artist, music producer, um, also a uh, engineer, and the founder of the Culture House. So, and um, to, to simply put it, I love, uh, I love connecting uh, people to their purpose, whether if you're a recording artist, or if you're an entrepreneur, or you're a creative, you know, um, I like, I like talking to you, figuring out what it is that you're into and how I can help you connect that um, with the world or with other people to, you know, further help you, you know, get that out there. Um, so we are going to talk about the flow topic or the topic flow today and um, how it connects you to the world. So, uh, so I asked you today, what is your flow? What's your flow? Uh, my flow is just like yours. I like to relate to people through music. You like to relate to people through music, right? That's good. Um, so it's good that you said that, because uh, the flow that I'm going to speak about is the signal flow. So this is a very, very basic uh, outline of signal flow, and it, it pertains to the audio industry um, and sound engineering. Um, so if you're familiar with that, then you know, but if not, you don't know. So a lot of people kind of just, uh, like you hear the music now, right? Now, um, there was definitely steps in between, and there was a flow to get to the sound that you're hearing that come out the speakers, you know? And um, there was definitely a signal flow that started with that. Um, so, I think most of us see the end picture to things, but we don't, like, we don't recognize those, those steps in between, those little steps in between. The ones that are, like, learning experiences, the ones that some people may, like, consider a failure or something like that, or you may feel like, you gotta take a step or two back, you know what I'm saying, to, to gain some more steps, you know? That's okay, it's a part of, it's a part of the process, it's a part of the flow, you know? Um, like, mine for instance is signal flow, like, in, in the audio industry, you need, you need connections, right? Like contacts. Just like, kinda like in any world, you, you need connections, right? But also another important thing is that you also need to be connected, like this microphone has to be connected 
um, to the to the interface. You know, it has to be connected to the preamp. The speakers have to be connected to the interface. You know, for it to for it to all work. You know what I mean? So, actually, another question is like, how do we hear your sound, right? Like, you hear my sound obviously because it's in music, right? But let's say you don't do music, right? And for instance, my guy Barber, right? He's in here, y'all. Uh, give a shout out to Barber here. Oh man, great, great artist, great artist. Um, and you know, when we were talking earlier, and you know, I said, man, the paint, you know, the paint is like a, it's like a microphone for him. And then when we see his art that's hanging up, you know what I'm saying? That's that's published. That's that's just like hearing the music coming out the speakers. You know what I mean? So again, it's like, how do we how do we hear your sound? You know what I mean? So like Eric you DJ, that's how we hear your sound. My man, you said it through music. Uh, the cat spoke to you earlier today. What's your name? Ewing. Ewing. Ewing said through clothes, right? And you know he's working on designs, and you know he wanted to you know give his passion out to the world through his through his clothes. So that's how we're gonna hear his sound, you know. Um, and again, like you know, you can hear it through speakers. It could be through your brand, the way the way Steve brands and the way uh, 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 Stable Great, you know. You can hear their sound, and it's not just through speakers, but it's visually, you know. Um, so, I want y'all to think about that, you know, and it, you have to think about your sound and, and how loud you want to be, whether you want it to be like impactful. You can you can have your sound right, and let's say you can have your, your sound this low. It's like not making that huge of an impact, all right? You know what I mean? So, if you want to make more of an impact, then you gotta turn your volume up which is turning your energy up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and really and really connecting the vibe. And so, um, again, you know, you want to think about who is your network, you know, who are you, who are you connecting with? You know, who do you want to impact? You know, you think about that. For me, of course, I want to impact listeners. You know, I want to impact, you know, the community, um, impact people who just really appreciate uh, music, but, you know, who want to grow. Um, you know, pulling from your experiences. Um, like whether or not you know it, like you you develop so many different skills that that you apply, uh, you know, like daily. That job you had that that you hated, you probably learned some skills from that 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 you can use now. You know, so I know I have, you know. Or when you were in college and you just was like, you know, I'm gonna just take this course, I'm gonna take that course, even though it's outside of my major, but I'm interested in that. Like that's adding to your, you know, like your skills. You know what I'm saying? Um, so. Looking at this, right, the first example here, you know, we got to start with our source. And our source is us. Like, I'm the source right now, right? And with, with being the source, you got to sit there, you got to think about, like, man, what am I about to, what am I about to do? Like, if I'm sitting in the studio and I'm getting ready to do a song or write, you know, it starts right like that. You know, first, maybe you're writing ideas down. And, you know, maybe, gosh, maybe you're just doing, like, you know, little recordings, you know, because you're just trying to get, you know, trying to figure out exactly what you want to say or what you want to do exactly, you know, so that's where it starts. But when you go to your microphone here, right, that means that you're actually taking action now, you know, um, and this is me on the microphone now, you know, so once you start doing that, then, you know, you, you, you do your first step into, you know, getting your creativity or, or, or you know, starting your flow. You know what I'm saying? Get your ideas out there into the world. Um, the preamp, right? The preamp is 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 what turns the microphone up. You know what I'm saying? So when you think about that, when you're thinking about your passion and exactly what you what you want to do, what you're trying to do, um, you got to think about actually, you know, how loud you want to be, and the loudness is is the level of impact that you're trying to have. Again, you can you can. You can be like, all right, I'll, I want to help a cause, or you can have your own cause. You can work for an organization, or you can have your own organization. You know what I'm saying? It just depends, again, on the level of impact that you want to have. You know, um, me, I want to have probably like the biggest type of impact, you know, possible. Um, maybe that's why I chose music, you know, and got into speaking. Now, I got into, I got into music um, because that's just what I love to do. Um, you can ask my brother and sister, I was probably like the, the shyest dude ever growing up. Um, they probably never thought I'd be like ever speaking or performing, you know? 
And like, I didn't just like get comfortable doing that. I had to like challenge myself. I had to take public speaking classes, you know? Um, I took theater so I can get over that, you know what I'm saying? I can you know, do a little acting and stuff like that. But those things you gotta do to fine tune yourself. You know what I'm saying? Those are the steps in between that no one sees, you know what I'm saying? So you wanna like, highs up and you perform all the time. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? Like, I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, but that's how it is though, you know what I mean? Um, so when we get to your interface, right? And I said this before, like, the interface is, was, is what everything's like pretty much connected to right now. I consider Creative Mornings is like an interface right now because it's so much connection going on in here and this is the network, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the network that, that you can use. You know, if you're in here and you got an idea, um, I'm pretty sure there's someone in here who can relate or maybe got like an idea that's, that's like similar, you know what I mean? So, I know like a lot of people like, uh, they're like, afraid, you know what I'm saying? And it's okay to be, like, to be afraid. But really, you're not afraid of, like, when you think about it, you're not afraid of, like, of anything, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a rejection. Maybe you're afraid of someone not uh, liking your idea or something like that, right? Or, you know, or, or just, just afraid because when you see the, when you see the end picture of something, it's like, man, God, how, like, how am I going to get there? But you don't have to worry about that. You kind of just got to go with the flow, you know what I'm saying? And let it, and let it flow. So, uh, I'm gonna ask this though. Raise your hands. How many people in here kind of just went with the flow today? Somebody told them to come and they came. Okay, that's good. That's less than I thought. So, how many people came here because they wanted to come here today? That's great, y'all. <laughs> that's great. So, again, that's what the interface is. So, when we get to the storage part, right? The storage part is where, like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm recording. You know what I'm saying? And, and. Maybe, maybe the song isn't finished and I want to come back to it, you know what I'm saying? I'm still, I'm, I'm still learning how to do this, learning how to tweak this and how to do that, you know? That's before we even get to the monitors to where you can, you know, hear things. So your storage is like where, like, you're here, right? And, and, and you're building your connections and your contacts. Like, man, store them in your phone, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, you're pulling from, like, your, your experiences. You know, and using these these skills that you develop, you know, and this is how you fine tune your 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 song. This is how you fine tune your your ideas, you know, like your creativity. You know what I'm saying? So it's very important, like you know, the things that, that you learned five years ago or the experiences you had. Um, like you're gonna use those things. You know what I'm saying? You just start. Um, then when we get to the mind, it's just like it's like man, you you. You fine tune your thing, you know what I'm saying? You know exactly like uh, how you want your how you want your sound to sound. And when I say how your sound to sound, it's like producers have a certain kind of sound, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, artists have a certain kind of look. Um, some designers have a certain kind of look for for their clothes. So you see, you like you know that that's that's theirs, you know what I'm saying? So when I say that, um, that's that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to you're trying to you know have your own you know, sound and, and that you could be recognized for, but you feel like it's polished and you got to the point to where you're ready to let people hear it. Um, you know, you're ready to make your impact. So that's kind of how, that's kind of how I flow, uh, you know, when I'm making music, but also I apply that to, uh, to like the world, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so with me using music and my experiences, because uh, at my institute that I went to, um, I was trained on studio engineering, live sound engineering, uh, post-production, video production, um, troubleshooting, um, those things like that, right? And while I was at the school, I was, on, I, I was there because I was trying to get better at mixing and, uh, and producing. This is just for my music. Like, look, after a few weeks into the program, I, like, I didn't want to do live sound, and I didn't want to, like, do studio with other people because recording other people and recording yourself is different, right? When you're an engineer, you kind of got to record whoever's like, you know, paying you. So you might not like the music at all, but you got to, you know, you, <laughs> you got to record them, man. I, you know, for me, I didn't want to do that. So for me, I was just trying to just fine tune my skills. So then when you guys heard my finished project, you know, finished product, then, you know, it sounded good, you know what I mean? But um, I didn't know that, you know, I would get back to Omaha and then 
you know, I wouldn't have the resources immediately because I was gone for a couple of years, so I didn't, you know, so I didn't really know who was who and what was what. So, you know, I had to, I had to use those, those skills that I learned, which, which, um, you know, audio, video, those things kind of go hand in hand. This audio right here, you got have Danny McGill back there doing video. You know, those things are important. But, um, I, you know, I pull from, I pull from those skill sets. Though I'm not a videographer, though, but. I can take a video and do a quick edit, you know what I'm saying, for my social media, you know what I'm saying, to help myself out, you know what I'm saying. Um, and again, like, uh, I constantly pull from those things and those experiences. So when, I, when I'm net networking and uh, um, I'm, I'm building with others, um, I just, like, I pull from that. And it's just like a natural flow, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like it's just... You know, you have, you got your hard drive, like your brain's like your hard drive, your storage thing. And, you know, it's just like, it just, the time thing just flows subconsciously, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, we're here. We're here now, and you guys all chose a certain kind of flow to get here today. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was just your routine of getting up and, you know, shower, or I don't know, maybe some of you already had your clothes picked out today. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like to spend time thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? So maybe they wear the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? But that's like part of the like part of the flow though. Um, so again, whether you, you get up and you know you have you have your coffee, maybe you read your paper or, or maybe you make your post on your social media and you do those things that you know to, to get you to where you're going, that's a flow. You know what I'm saying? But we're talking about trying to make how do you make a bigger impact with your with your flow. You know what I'm saying? So again, with me, I use music to connect with the artists, uh, to connect with the creatives, um, to connect with spaces, to connect with venues. And uh, that's how I'm connecting my passion. But when I connected with these others, they're getting inspired or they're getting education or they're getting the know-how. And then they're able to connect with someone else, you know, and then affect someone else. So it works like that, you know. Um, again, it's just a channel of energy. This thing right here, that's just, that's all energy passing through, you know? And that's what we're doing right here. So, um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I wanna answer some questions for sure, because I think maybe there's some people in here who got some questions, some things that they're thinking about, maybe they want an opinion on. So, I wanna give y'all a chance to talk right now so I can talk some more. Yeah. <laughs>